Tonight, the Democratic National Convention kicks off in Chicago. Some of the party's biggest names are set to take the stage there over the next four days. This comes as President Donald Trump also has a busy week ahead. ABC's Jacqueline Lee joins us live from inside the United Center in Chicago with the latest. Jacqueline. Hey, Giovanna, you can expect a lot of enthusiasm ahead of tonight and also throughout the entire night. Of course, Democrats feeling a lot of momentum with Harris at the top of the ticket. With Vice President Kamala Harris's plane touching down in Chicago, it's official. The four-day Democratic National Convention is about to kick off. We're so excited about the Harris Wolves ticket and the hope and the joy. Democrats riding high on momentum with a new candidate in place and now a new ABC News Washington Post Ipsos poll showing a shift in the race. Harris eclipsing President Joe Biden and leading former President Donald Trump nationally with a six-point lead nationwide among likely voters. How are you feeling about your speech tomorrow? President Biden set to take the stage on day one of the convention. Aides to the president say in his speech he plans to make a strong case for Harris Walls and hand off the convention to them. The Democratic Party says tonight's theme is for the people, where they plan to highlight what they say President Biden and Vice President Harris have done for Americans. We get an opportunity tonight uh, to say a thank you to the best president of my lifetime. Harris and VP candidate Tim Walls finishing a campaign bus tour through Swing State Pennsylvania Sunday, hammering Trump for his inflammatory rhetoric. The real and true measure of the strength of a leader is based on who you lift up. Anybody who's about beating down other people is a coward. Trump on the offense while also campaigning in Pennsylvania, having trouble staying away from personal insults. They should know her biggest advantage is that she's a beautiful woman. I'm going, huh, I never thought of that. I'm better looking than she is. He and running mate J.D. Vance offering counter-programming this week, hosting rallies around the country while the Democrats are in Chicago. The campaign says their focus today is on the economy. And tonight, delegates do plan on voting on the party's 92-page platform, even though it hasn't been updated since Biden left the race. Actor Tony Goldwyn will be hosting tonight and introducing President Biden.